Okay, so this is an updated video on how to do polar coordinates in Desmos. So we were having problems and I looked up um, on the Desmos site why that we couldn't graph the negative r. And then I realized that even our positive values of r weren't graphing correctly. So it says that currently polar coordinates are not supported in Desmos, even though they have the polar grid. But um, Mr. Huang helped me and he figured out a workaround so that we can graph polar coordinates. And so I wanted to share that with all of you so that way you can kind of check your work as you're working in my math lab. So kind of like our converting between rectangular and polar coordinates, you can type in instead of just R, your R value and then your angle, you can type R cosine and then give, give a letter for your angle and R sine and then same, same angle. So I'm using R for the radius, so I'm gonna add a slider for R, and then I'm also gonna add a slider for A. So what this will allow us to do is, you can see before on the video that I made for you, our radius wasn't even correct, but now you can see that this is going to give us a correct R value. So if our R is two, you can see it's on that two radius ring right there. And if we go to negative two, you can see it's just 180 degrees difference, which is what it's supposed to be. Now, as far as the angles go, um, I would suggest putting this into degrees. You might have to do a little bit of converting. But um, so let's say I want to go between negative 360 and 360. So you get that just by clicking on... So if I click out here, if I click where A equals, and then I can type in the interval that I want there. So now I'm going between 360 and negative 360. So if I wanted to graph, let's say I want to graph 3 and 60 degrees. Oops. So that would be the point 360 degrees. Um, I think that that's giving us our rectangular coordinates, I believe. And then, um, but you can see if I wanted to change that to negative three, this is giving you a more accurate showing how it's 180 degree basically rotation to get that negative R value. So hopefully this helps. Um, I deleted my other video about polar coordinates on Desmos because it was not correct. So hopefully this change um, helps you with your assignment and clears up some of those issues that we were talking about. Okay, thanks.